Hi, in this video, I want to be showing you six of the best free writing tools for authors that you can use for a complete writing system. I'm Vince from Digital Nomad Institute, so let's get started. All right, so the very first writing tool I would like to introduce to you is called Also Asked. And this one right here, well, there's going to be two of them. It helps you to find uh, what kind of questions people are asking uh, related to your keywords. So if I go dog walking and I click search, uh, it's a web-based tool, so it's going to you know take a while, but it's going to look through the entire internet and it's going to tell me what questions people are asking in relation to this keyword. And right now I have have it set for the United Kingdom, but if you look, you can also set it for uh, other countries as well. And then if you scroll down, it shows you the keyword and it shows you uh, the questions that are people asking. And you can go ahead and dig down deeper into each one. Okay, so uh, it gives you a nice little tree. Now the downside of this is you only get um, a few searches per day. All right, so that's why I'm going to show you a second tool. But let me just show you how this one works real quick. So here, are all the questions is dog uh, walking good money, and then you can uh, click on it to to see what other questions are related to that topic. Can you earn good money dog walking? How much can a dog walker make? UK. How much is dog walking worth? Uh, how many dogs can you walk at once? Uh, how much does a dog walker earn per hour? What should I name my dog walking business? And so on and so forth. So it gives you a lot of good questions from which you can develop your headline. Hey, I've been getting a lot of questions again. I've mentioned in another video how to make money with YouTube using AI tools to automate my channel and to save time while building traffic. So hey, if you're interested in how to make money with YouTube using AI tools to automate a lot of your work and to build traffic, uh, I'll put a link in the description and it will take you to the course where you can see how I do that. It's just there for people who are interested. So let's get on with the video and guide your content. All right, so, but the only downside is, like I said earlier, you only get a few searches per day. Now, that's why I'm going to take you to the second tool, which I love, and that's called Answer Socrates. Now, this one also uh, looks at a topic, but also it does uh, its research differently. So, I'm going to put in dog walking, all right? Click on enter. And if you scroll down, it's going to go to a whole bunch of questions, and it goes through R. Are dog walking business profitable? Are dog walking uh, app safe? Can I can I do uh, dog walking in lockdown? All right. So, and it does it alphabetically. So it it's really really thorough. It it goes from different angles and it pulls up um, a lot of these from Google Trends and other data data sets. So it's very very thorough. You can go ahead and take a look at this. And the reason why I love this tool over um, other tools such as um, the, the, the first one, which was uh, also ask, or I even like this over um, answer the public, is because this is unlimited view, unlimited uh, questions you can ask. You don't have to worry about some artificial restriction every single day, um, you know, because research could be, you know, time consuming. Uh, you have to play at different angles. And if you only have a few credits per day, I, I don't think you're going to get the best benefit out of that research tool. So, yeah, those tools, the tool I mentioned earlier is powerful, but it's restricted. This one is, I, th I think it's it's also powerful, but it has uh, very little restrictions, little little to none. All right, so it's uh, Ask Answer Socrates. The next, <coughs> excuse me, the next writing tool, what I consider one of the best writing tools for author, is uh, Monster Insight. It's a headline analyzer. So once you figure out what you want to write about. Let's say uh, I'm going to go with this one. Are dog walking businesses profitable? I'm just going to use this. Then you just enter your headline in and then you want you want to make a, a good he uh, headline, right? So you click analyze and it gives you a score. Now typically you want to aim for, you know, maybe above 60 or 70. All right? So for best results you should strive for 70 or above, all right? You got 85. Yeah, that's a good, you know, that's a good uh, headline, and it it gives you tips on what what you can do to improve your headline. 
right? And you know, because I, if you don't have a good headline, let's face it, you know, people are most likely not going to click your video. So this one will help you to develop a good headline anal analyzer or headline before you go ahead and spend a lot of work and time, you know, creating the video script or article, right? So let me show you the next tool since you, you know we're talking about creating an article and that is an essay bot this will help you this is an AI tool that will help you to create content and let me enter in it works by entering in your uh, your topic you click on start writing you let the AI do its thing um, you got to pay attention to the settings now because if you pick the wrong one it's not going to be as efficient do do not do the uh, headline just just click right on my own because you get the best results from this and then you got a little tour it shows you what to do all right and then from here what you can do is you can enter in the first line So you would you would type in our dog, right? And then from here it auto completes it for you. You get three different options. You have a business that is profitable. If you answer yes um, to the question, then this let's see the our dog. You have a good. Okay, let's try this one. All right, now you might have to fix this one a little bit. Do you have a business that is profitable? If you answer yes to any of these questions, then this. Uh, and this. Hmm, let me change this up. Let me change this up to this right here okay there we go and then you can continue selecting each sentence to fill out the entire article All right, so it goes do you have a business that is profitable are you looking for ways to make money while doing your job and then it goes into the next one now if it if it lags a bit I'm sorry uh, my internet connection right now is a bit weak you know but another thing you can do is you can just delete the last part and retype it and add the question then and then oops then it, it kind of kicks kick started kick starts uh, the next next line All right and you can go go on and do this thing you know you, you can see how easy it is uh, to create the content so let me stop right here because I, I don't want to you know you I think you get the idea All right do you have a business that, uh, that is profitable are you looking for ways to make money while doing your job if so then this article is for you all right. Let me delete this one, and then you can continue. Um, if not, then check out our free guide to help you find the right business for your needs. All right, and you can keep going. So with this free tool, creating articles uh, will be a lot easier. All right, so it's essay bot. Now there is a, it's a, it's it's free to use, but there is a particular way in which you have to use this in order to get it to run um, optimally. And also to get the content out. So I have another video down below, and uh, it will show. Sorry, another link to a video down below. So you can go ahead and check that out if you want to learn more about essay bot. All right. So let's go move on to the next tool, and that is called Q Text. So what this does is it allows you to check for plagiarism because you want to make sure that whatever uh, tool you're using, let's say if it's this right here, I'm just going to sample this small text. No, let me mind. I'm going to maybe use a different different text real quick. Hold on. Let me pause this real quick. Okay, so I found an article real quick, and I'm just going to uh, put it in here. I'm going to check for plagiarism. Let it let it run. Okay, so you have to create an account. Uh, let me go ahead and create one real quick. Okay, so I created the account. 
Let me check for plagiarism. And since it's a web-based tool, you know, it might take some time, but the good thing is you don't have to install anything. Okay, so it's done. And you have a quick tour. And it shows you exactly what everything means. It says this 9% similarity score. This score is the percentage of plagiarism in your text calculated as a weighted average all matches within your text. The higher the score, the higher the likelihood of plagiarism. And then use these buttons to quickly navigate through your matches and tour. All right. So basically anything that's highlighted is you know something but that's potentially matches the source you can click it to see where the source come from this is 64 percent match this is 64 percent this is 64 percent and in total this is nine percent so that means this is about you know 91 percent unique according to this and this is a very thorough very very serious and thorough uh search all right so if you really want to, you know, make sure that your content is unique before you go ahead and, and create or you expand more work from it. All right. So that's that's the the next step is to polish it up. So once you realize it's unique, you can go ahead and change it to make it more unique if you want to. If you're happy with this, you can go on and move to the next step. The next app that will help you out is called Hemingway app. So well, let me go ahead and copy this real quick. All right, so you, you take your, your piece that's, that's done and you simply plop it in here and it will sh show you how to make your um, writing more clear. All right, and it, it color codes everything. So yellow is hard to read. Red is very hard to read. <laughs> Purple, you, have, you can have a simple alternatives and then you have uh, blue, all right? So... It's an adverse, so you can, you can maybe make it uh, fewer, right? So it also gives you a grading scale of you know what, what uh, what's your read readability. It's ten right now. You should aim for nine, all right, to make it easy to read, easy to understand. So that's the Hemingway app. I use this a lot when it comes down to uh, kind of making sure I, I comprehension is important, right? So if I want to make sure if it's clear and concise. Then I use this to make make sure as best I can to, that my writing is very clear. And then after that, I check it through Grammarly to make sure that it's grammatically correct. Right? So this one will show you the overall score, and then it show you different alerts. Right? So you can go ahead and, and check out which one might, might need to be fixed, and you can correct it. And it's free to try. And then the last app I'd like to introduce, and this is the paid one, it's called Word AI. Now this is uh, for those who are serious about creating long form content easily, you can simply create a content by just going to create content tab. Um, it have a, a, right now it's a limited lifetime um, sale. So if you purchase it, you can, you know, you basically uh, get uh, access to this software I think they give you about seven thousand words per one hundred dollars. I, I believe. Uh, let me, you know. But if you click through my link, I do get a uh, small commission, and it helps this channel out. But the, the thing I like about this tool is it's very simple. A lot of AI tools are kind of complicated. Uh, this one is very, very simple. You just click on AI mode. You enter you, whatever you want. Uh, this time, I want to type in something about um, a celebrity. Let me go with. Uh, let me let me let me just look for something. Celeb, celebrity. Let's see. Holly Hollywood headlines. Okay, I'm just gonna click on that. And uh, I, I want to find some kind of you know celebrity news just to see. Okay, I'm going to click on maybe something like this. Copy this. And I want to see if it can create something that's decent. All right, so this is Celebrity News. I'm going to answer it in here. I, I know one of the users asked me, can this write things about celebrities? Well, let, let's see. <laughs> and then this is that's all you have to do. This is it. This is just for internal reference. So I'm just going to you know click this and 
Yeah, that's it. And then from there, I'm just going to go submit, confirm. One of my keywords. Uh, dismiss. It should be able to. Oh, okay. I'm not. I can't make the product description this long. All right. Let me go. Uh, celeb demo. All right. Submit. What keyword is he talking about? Okay, maybe this one. <laughs> celeb demo. All right. Now it should work. Sorry about that. What? One or more of your keywords exceed 100 characters. There's no. There's nothing. Okay, let's go with. Uh, let me just make my own. See, see if this works. Netflix. Oh, oh there we go. Okay. And okay, that's all you have to do is enter the title and make sure you, you, you don't make a long name for your references. And then from there, you just simply wait. And in a couple seconds, you'll have a demo right here. And you have a thousand word article. Easy peasy. And let me just read a few, a few of this for you so you can see how well. Um, you can use, also pause it to read it too. But. Uh, Meghan Markle and Prince Harry Netflix. When Meghan Markle announced she was marrying Prince Harry, her father Thomas Markle said the 36-year-old suit star had been hiding a lot from the world. Just for days after the announcement, Tom admitted he had staged an episode of this of his show to film his daughter's engagement announcement. Now 69 years old, Thomas has kept up with all the details of his daughter's life via social media the moment he felt like he couldn't keep track anymore was when he learned that megan had joined netflix family when asked what his thoughts were on joining this streaming service thomas responded by saying it was not so good he added i won't lie to you it's really not so good they have a lot of stuff there and i don't know how much is done by them and how much is done by them and how, how much is done by them. While he's not too thrilled about joining Netflix uh, just yet, Thomas does have hope that one day soon he'll be able to watch any TV program or movie sent over from America. He explained, hopefully over time, because that would be great for us. And then what is Prince Harry's net worth? Uh, Thomas Markle's net worth? What was the reaction to Meghan McConnell joining Netflix? And it, it goes on and on. Like it, it's actually pretty. I, th I think it's, it's well written um, for for something that was just a couple of clicks. So if you're serious about um, you know writing content, I would highly recommend anyone. You know, maybe I know it's a paid tool, but this is kind of like a bonus uh, recommendation. You just get this tool. It makes it makes your life and work a lot easier, for, especially for writers, uh, because uh, being a writer is not not easy. All right, so I hope this video was helpful, and if it was, could you please hit that like button? I'm Vince from Digital Man Suit. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.